a lot of people from Twitter are applying that are like on, on Twitter, they're the best traders in the world. But then you look at the broker statements and you're like, come on, man. Mm. You're kind of crazy, bro. I bet you're crazy. What was like that process off. like, Stan? How did they how did they hire you? Did they find you? Did you reach out to them? And what type of uh, do they look at your broker statements for the people that want to get into prop trading? Like, what's that like? Yeah, that's um, that's a good question. So that's pretty much all I've known since 2015, right? I got hired a while ago, and now I'm I'm the one doing the hiring. So um, it's it's been uh, you know it's been a long long ride, you know, interesting ride, and I love I love the prop world. Um, I don't know what I would do without it, to be honest. I, I, I'd like to think that I would be able to survive on my own, like like you guys did. Um, but uh, basically, what happened was um, I was I went to Brew College, and uh, Mike Katz, the hiring manager at Seven Points, he also went to Brew College, and he liked to hire a lot of people from Brew College. So when I was hired, I was in a group with I think five or six other guys, and they're all from my my school, and probably half the firm were from my school and uh, Baruch, Bernard Baruch. So it's, you know, it's like a trading school, basically. Like we had a trading floor and we had like technical analysis class. Oh, wow. It was quite interesting. Yeah. Didn't really learn about like trading. Um, we, I mean, they taught us like some indicators and that sort of thing. And I graduated with finance degree and it has nothing to do with, with actual trading, but it, you can kind of get your feet wet. You get like a very like one one introduction to trading um, if you take the right classes. And so they, they, um, I submitted my application. I had like, um, an, a phone interview and then I came in and, uh, I came in with a tablet and with some of my trades and I showed my cats, like, this is what I did. This is what I did. This is what I was risking. And he's like drilling me down with all these questions about each individual trade. <clears throat> And then at the end of the interview, um, he's just like, you know, we, we basically do a very similar thing here. Um, we do like more, you know, more stuff. We do like more market making, um, some other different stuff. But we, we do a lot of like momentum trading as well. So that's, that was the interview process. I got hired. And that was probably the biggest like turn, the biggest angle of, of that turn. Um, where they kind of showed me like how to do market making. And um, I think within like four or, or five months, I was, I was net green and I was profitable. Were you Damn. scared to use someone else's capital? Did you feel like a little bit of sense of like, damn, like if I fuck this up, it's not my money, it's someone else's money as well. Or did you, were you just like, you know what? Like I'm here, I'm going to do it and I'm going to nail it. Or did you say the exact same thing? Damn, this is somebody else's money. If I fuck it up, I fuck it up. It ain't mine. <laughs> yeah you know it's like a, you know it's like 50 50 for everybody some some people uh some people are like leaning this way some people leaning the other way um <clears throat> i think nico had um wasn't very comfortable when he joined a prop firm you know nico of course. he wasn't very comfortable joining the prop firm at first because he's like man i'm gonna lose somebody else's money and i'm just like dude it's so it's somebody else's money. So yeah. So for me, it was like, I don't care. It's not even my money. Um, we had conversations with one of the founders, Gary, um, when I joined, <clears throat> you know, one of the guys was like kind of afraid to like lose money. Um, and he's like, who cares? It's not even yours, you know, and he's, he's the owner of the firm. So that's just like, okay, here we go. Let's, let's risk some money. So I, I didn't really care, but I think a lot of people do. And I don't think that that's a good reason um, to like hold yourself back, you know? So, and you also want a firm that's able to support you and be like, listen, like we want you to do the best that you possibly can and whatever we have to do to get you there, we're going to do that. So I think that's really important. And now you being a head trader, what do you look for before you hire someone? I look for somebody who is very passionate about trading and is not afraid to ask like dumb questions, um, but <clears throat> also does the work. I don't know, just common sense things, you know, like there are a lot of people that are like, like profitable, but they don't want to join the firm because they're already profitable. You know, what's the point for them uh, unless they want more, a lot more capital. Um, so, you know, that happens once in a while. <clears throat> Uh, but for the most part, it's like noobs are applying that like don't really know what they're even applying for. They're just like looking for a job. So I'm just looking for something in between where the guy just 
you know, kind of like where I was. I just needed a, a bit of capital, a bit of guidance, you know, like cheap locates and that sort of thing. And, um, you know, being in, being in the right environment, like somebody who wants to be in the right environment. So that's kind of what I, uh, what I look for right now. And also, also that's important is like, if I'm hiring somebody to be, you know, um, sitting next to me in the office, it, he's got to be like a normal dude, you know, a normal person or a girl or whatever, you know, but normal person, like you don't mind sitting next to the guy. He's not going to be a, a kind of an idiot, you know? <laughs> Are you struggling to find the right stocks to trade? Are you making money for one, two, maybe three weeks in a row and losing it all in one day? Are you struggling with sizing up on your trades? Well, I found that the best way to fix these problems is to trade alongside a millionaire trader live on stream with no delays. My investing club's new live trading stream is the missing puzzle piece to your trading. Every day at 9 a.m., I share my screens, find the best stocks to trade, and build my watch just live. Then I execute those trades live on screen. It's like you're sitting right next to me as I trade every single day. Due to the high demand of the screen share, we only have a few spaces available every single month. So if you're seeing this now, it means that space is still available. And here is the best part. If I do not generate $20,000 in realized gains per month on live stream, you do not pay. So go to myinvestingclub.com slash live trading to get 50% off your first month on the live stream. Spaces are limited and filling up quick. What do you have to lose? This may change your life. It's the little things, bro. It's the little things. And yeah, I, think yeah, for sure. I think it's important too that you said someone that's passionate because trading is really tough, man. And like you, it's, it's, you have to have someone that's not going to give up easily, right? And for a trader that's brand new that doesn't even know what the hell he's applying for, he might not have that. Uh, one more thing is, is there like a certain... And again, I want to kind of get into details because I know people that may be watching are interested in the prop world. Is do you look for all right? This trader has made fifty thousand dollars in his trading. This guy's made a hundred thousand dollars. This guy's made ten thousand. Or is it purely based on their passion and their ability to be coached? Because as a prop trader, you're going to be coached by a professional trader like yourself. So is coachability more important than P and L for you? Yeah, I, I think it's probably up there. Um, maybe it's more important because. To be honest with you, a lot of guys that are showing big PLs, those PLs a lot of times are not real. You know, <laughs> like you would be surprised. It's more likely than not that it's fake PL. I ran into this so many times. And um, not just me, but also like my cats and like Nigeria, the you know, the the owners of the company, they, they it's always it's always like that. So are the people guys, trying to like fake their way into the prop firm? Yeah, yeah, I think so. What's I been one of the like most most elaborate schemes that you've seen? I mean, the guy is just showing his PNL, and then once you so right now, what the company has implemented is they are doing a demo account for somebody who's just applying, just for that reason, because a lot of people would apply and they would show broker statements and they would show the PNL, and then they go live, and it's just like completely, just like really <laughs> shit, dude. Wow. They're just I'm fabricating sorry. PDFs, right? They're I don't just... know how. I don't know. I, wow. I, I'm just, I would be speculating, but I don't know how it happens. Maybe maybe it's the truth. I don't know. Maybe it's the truth. And then they go live and they just can't make a dollar. So it happens all the time. It happened many, you know, more times than I can count. And uh, what they're doing now is they're doing, um, what we're doing now is we're putting people on a demo. So the guy's applying. He's like, hey, I'm a profitable trader. And the thing is being profitable trader is not really a requirement. You know, it's not really a requirement. You have to be like, Alex, you said, you have to be just coachable guy and you have to want to learn. And, uh, and, and that's really, it, it's, that's enough. You know, that, that could be enough. You put in the right environment, you have the right set of skills and you have the right mindset and, and you should be fine. Um, but people try to kind of finagle their way into this and, okay, you're profitable. Go on a demo for like a couple of weeks, maybe a month while you're studying for the, for the SAE exam. And then the, the, you know, that account is looking like this and it's just like, what, what, are you profitable? Or are you not profitable? Let's, let's get down to the truth here. You know? <laughs> so <laughs> Jesus. a lot of people from Twitter are applying that are like on, on Twitter, they're the best traders in the world. But then you look at the broker statements and you're like, come on, man. You feel yeah. like name dropping a few. I'm just kidding. No, no, I'm, no, joking. No, no. I'm joking. I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my list is very short. My list is very short. But if I were to ask my cats, and he wouldn't tell me either, but he, I think his list is pretty long. <laughs>